I ain't gonna lie, I'm probably going to hell for this review, but you know, I just gotta keep it real, y'all. Everyone is Sharana from Pay Your Weight. So today I'm going to be reviewing Shaft, which is directed by Tim Story, who is responsible for directing Barbershop, What Men Want, Fantastic Four, Fantastic Four 2, Rise of the Silver Surfer, and this film stars Samuel L. Jackson, Richard Roundtree, Jesse T. Usher, Regina Hall, Alexandra Shipp, and it centers around JJ, who is uh, Shaft's son. And so essentially Shaft has been estranged from his son for over 20 years until um, there is something that happens to one of JJ's friends and he ends up being killed. And and there's a little bit more to the story that does not seem right so JJ decides to investigate and he wants to enlist the help of his father um, to help him along with this case and so from then on we kind of just center around them working together as father and son while also to dealing uh, with the past of John not being in his son's life um, and so we're just taking on this wild and crazy ride filled of like crazy jokes and then craziness as they try to unco uncover what is happening um, with his friend murder so all right y'all I'm sorry that I've been MIA um I was actually like on my way to the movies earlier this week and then I went to go get something to eat from Chipotle and my car stopped I just got back in I was like hold up <laughs> it's not turning on what happened so like I didn't have a car so I'm kind of backed up on anything that's movie related I sorry but I'll be back to normal next week so let's talk Shaft what I liked about this film what I didn't like about this film I tell you should you pay or wait to go see this film in theaters for those of you who are new to my channel so um, what I enjoyed about this film is I had a great time um, with these characters and kind of watching how these generational differences play out on screen, especially between Samuel L. Jackson and Jesse T. Usher's character. And when they first announced kind of this generational turn um, as this new way that they're trying to reintroduce Shaft, um, 19 years later after the 2000 revamp with Samuel Jackson as Shaft now, um, I was just like, mm, I don't know how I feel about Jesse T. Usher. Um, I think that he's funny. I enjoyed him on Survivor's Remorse, um, but also too, he's kind of like goofy funny and then Samuel Jackson's kind of like swag, like I don't give a F funny. Um, so I didn't necessarily know if they were going to mesh well um, together in this film, but I would have to say after watching them go back and forth, I thought that they were balanced very well um, as we have John Shaft who's really stuck in his ways um in the wrong ways of thinking as you will see when you watch the film um but also too i thought that they did a very great job of when he says something inappropriate his son is there to correct him like you cannot say things like that this is why this is not okay and i thought that they did that very well throughout the course of the film but I would have to say Regina Hall always makes me laugh. And she was really one of the only people who were able to go toe to toe or head to head. Yeah, head to head. I said that wrong, y'all. But you know what I was trying to say. Head to head with Samuel Jackson as far as the jokes as they have a rocky past on why she needed to leave and kind of keep him distanced away from her and her son. I love how she curses him out, how she goes off on him, how she's really like that only woman that can keep John Shaft in check. And so I thought that they did a very very great job um, having her um, in that role to kind of go back and forth with Samuel Jackson. Um, now, overall, while I did enjoy the film, I felt very conflicted about the film. And so this is really going into some of the issues that I had with it. Um, First and foremost, I know a lot of you have probably seen the reviews. They haven't been very well, um, very good for this film. But I think that will have to do with the decision um, of turning this film kind of more into a comedy, but also to not trying to be politically correct. And so this is where I kind of felt conflicted because when the first joke happens that is just very inappropriate, I was just like, hold up. Like I laughed, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like I did laugh at the jokes, but at the same time, I would like kind of scream the room because I was just like, this don't feel right. Like I shouldn't be laughing at this, like it's funny. But I know that that's like so wrong to say. And so I was kind of screaming in the room like, is everybody else laughing? And then I was like, they laugh. I was like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Like, it's okay for me to laugh. But um, I know that a lot of issues that people will have with this film is the misogyny, um, the homophobia that is kind of intertwined in some of the jokes um, that happen throughout the course of the film. Um, it's not downright like, oh my God, that's just so horrible, but it's kind of just like, hey, like we gotta evolve from like these type of jokes, these type of thinking, 
but it's funny at the same time. And so I was just like, the best way I can explain this is like, for those of you who are religious, and it's okay to believe in who you want to believe in or not believe, it's, that's totally okay, I love everybody. But um, it's like when you become saved and then you don't want to sin no more. But then when you be sinning because you still struggling between these two worlds, you like know it's not right. Like you don't feel as good no more because you know in the back of your head you're still sinning it's not right. That's how I felt while watching this. It's like the perfect analogy of how I can say like, it's like I'm woke now and I know that like those jokes not funny no more. Like we can't do that. But it was still, I still found myself laughing. And so I felt very conflicted um, kind of when I walked out of this film. And then also too, um, what I would want to see is where they did a great job of having Jesse T. Usher's character kind of correcting him for uh, the bad things that he is saying. I wanted the women to have a little bit more to do in the film. Uh, while I said Regina Hall was very funny with the jokes of her like going back and forth cursing John out throughout the course of the film I wanted to see her do more to protect herself it still felt as though it's like oh save me I'm a woman like please save me and I felt as though because Regina's Hall's character Maya was so strong for first having to kind of separate and remove her and her son um, from his lifestyle and all the danger that follows him I just felt as though that she should have been able to also protect herself a little bit more and also too with the Alexandra Shipps character as well I wanted to see the women have a a little bit more to do in the film but overall for me just being honest and why I say I'm probably gonna go to hell for this review I still found Shaft enjoyable entertaining I laughed like I had a great time watching the film the audience was laughing no one really walked out of the film judging as much as I thought they would be um, I definitely expected the critics to react the way that they definitely did react but for me what I would tell you guys to do with your coins is to still pay to see this film in theaters are there problematic jokes? Yes, there are. But I did have a great job overall watching this film. Um, I thought they had a great cast. Um, and I love their decision to turn it more so into a comedy. But I would like to see if they decide to make more Shaft movies. Still bring back the whole detective aspect of them, him being this private investigator, really trying to like handle the injustices that, you know, our criminal justice system can't necessarily handle. So yeah, those are my thoughts on Shaft. As always, my is Sharana from Pay or Wait. If you like what you saw today, make sure you hit the like button, hit subscribe, share this video with your friends, and make sure you hit that notification bell. And I love you guys 3000. I'll see you soon.